In the previous lectures, I define and uh, explain about the uh, definition of addiction. Now, it's very important to understand the difference between addiction and dependence. If we don't know the difference, we will often misinterpret and take dependence as addiction and addiction as dependence. Now, let's take a normal cycle. Addic dependence simply means uh, that a person or the body of that person is dependent on this medication. For example, if a person is drinking alcohol or if the person is taking medicine like a Valium or Benzodiazepine or a narcotic. If that person stops that medication, suddenly he will go through withdrawal. So that withdrawal is because the body is dependent on that medication. So uh, dependence essentially describes a state where the body is dependent on that medications. And, and while addiction is different, in addiction, the, as I mentioned, a person lose control. He is using compulsively. He is, a person is using in spite of harm and having a negative effect when the substance is not available. In the initial phase of addiction, the person may be using just to get high. And that's how it is start. The person uses substance to get high. And the person feels high when he takes that medication. Later on, that phase is gone. Now the person does that substance just to feel normal. And that is the level when, he, uh, that when a person becomes addicted. So it's very important that the person is not doing drug just to get high. The, the person is doing drug just to feel normal. In my last counseling class, a girl started crying and crying. And when I asked her why you are crying, then she explained her story. And it's, it's a very damaging, it's a very heartbreaking story when she tells that people treated me very harshly because they think that I am doing it just to feel or to get high. I am not doing to get high. I am doing just to feel normal. I am doing just to work. I am doing just to function. If I don't get the drug, I feel what they word they use, shit. That means the body, she is relying on this medication. So this is the, this is the phase when the person needs drug just to feel normal. And that person often says that I am active uh, with the medication. If I don't get the medication, I feel lousy, I cannot work. And that's what happened in the late phases. And that's where the person is addicted. On the other hand, a person who is just dependent may go into withdrawal. For example, if you don't drink coffee in the 24 hour, you will feel headache. You will go into withdrawal. In the same way, if you don't smoke, you will feel. But still, you have a control. If you keep on restraining yourself, after a few days, your body is used to it. But you won't feel that if you don't, uh, you have that much desire, you still have a control. You still, you still can function. But in addiction, if you don't provide the substance, the person may enter or do even crimes to achieve that things. They may, they may not only go withdrawal, they need drug to feel normal and often they commit crimes, often they seek drugs, often um, do things which in otherwise we, 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 we cannot imagine a, a, a person can do such a substance. So that person who is addicted definitely need help and he or she needs help quickly, immediately, otherwise that person may do something harmful. So this is very important to understand that the addiction is a medical disorder. In the next lecture, I will talk about salience.